So, so where do you see this going for me? Like I said, you need to be as good as you can be in the LSPD. And I just have to wait and see. Just hope for the best. Yeah. Howdy, sorry about that. You're good. Um, I want everybody that's came in and all the recruits to kind of show up at the meeting, one o'clock meeting, and just say what's up, get to know everybody. Then we see them Saturday for the academy. You want to have separate meetings from the rest of the PD or just like a... Just every now and then. Okay. Do you want to have it mm. separate once a week or do you want to have an additional once a week? Uh, separate once a week. Okay. I would recommend, I know it's more time off patrol, but doing something extra is, the perception is a lot different than doing something in addition to. There's going to be some folks who are going to feel real miff that they're not part of that first batch. And it's going to hit really hard on Friday when we're not in that meeting, we're having our own meeting. My recommendation yeah. would be that we have it after the normal PD meeting. Then we're going to be in meetings for like literally two hours. I know. Yeah, but, but it's also just one day, one meeting. It is just one meeting, yes, but it's also the first meeting. Immediately, it hits real hard that, okay, hey, what they're doing is different. You know, they're different than we are. I, I just talked to Slacks about this as well. Did he say the same thing or what? No, this is not meetings. This okay. is just the transfers that are going on right now. I I don't know what to do, how to, I guess manage everything i mean you already know the amount of people that want to come over i think there's probably like 10 to 15 people that want to stay in the lspd right now everybody else wants to come over bones i'm gonna be honest with you i have been in this building multiple times every single week for the last six months i mean hell i come here almost once a day for the last six months it was my dream to open this thing up and get this thing started and build this thing out i i offered i said hey I would consider staying in the LSPD if I'd been offered a captain position. And and it's not because I didn't want to come here, okay? It's not because I didn't want to uh -huh. work with you, work with work with Leonard. I didn't it's not about that. I'm always looking at the big picture and I'm always trying to do what I think is best for the entirety of the PD. If I had been offered a chance to stay at captain in the LSPD, I probably would have taken it because I think it probably would have been the best for everybody. I don't everybody. think there would be as many people coming jumping yeah. ship. But the fact that it's me and Cassidy and you in Penn Zone, everybody who voted for sheriff are gone. Right. By the way, Another uh -huh. thing that's going to be rough for uh, Barrick and Ruby, Slacks is transferring. Now you got Slacks, you, me, Leonard, Pinzone. McNulty wants to come so bad, but I, I didn't put him on, on the first wave list. Nobody wants to be there right now. It, it turns out to be like it's on us to yeah. like turn people away. Yeah, you thought we were the bad guys against the criminals. What did we do, Cornwood? Yeah, this is a, this is a welcome to high command situation. Well, this, this is a the, people e person type of deal. This well, is this is your specialty. This is going to happen a lot, by the way, in in high command. I understand. Is my point. So, and this is why I'm coming to you because <laughs> I can actually use you on this. Right, right. That's not what I, that's not what I was implying. I was just meant like we're going to get dropped in the grease a little bit. Get used to it, and it's not going to feel good almost any time. The LSPD needs juice, and we have to make sure that the LSPD has juice. What if the juice doesn't want to be in the LSPD and they're miserable to get out? The juice is trying to go on the loose. The hard solution is we just have to say no to some people. You have to say no to some of the best people on purpose. And you have to take some people that just, I'm being honest, are not the best of the best. We have to take them on purpose. I don't want to come off as the villain that's trying to destroy the LSPD when that's not really my intention. Yeah, no, you're right. I mean, we just have to say no. I'm going to tell you no. We're going to do an exercise. You're going to come and ask me about joining the BCSO. Actually, no. Hey, Cornwood, no, here, I've been... You, this is going to be free. Okay, yeah. Okay, I'm going to walk into your office. Okay. Mm -hmm. Plus one. Come on in. Howdy, Sheriff Bones. Hey, what's up? I, uh, I've been wanting to talk to you. Um... I want to talk to you sometime now. I, I know the election uh, just happened. Congratulations on winning. I voted for you. I, I fully believe in your vision. I'm glad Cornwood didn't win. I mean, he's, he's just a dadgum idiot, doesn't know what he's doing, and he just likes to mm -hmm. goof off all day. So I'm glad someone like you is there to put him in check. I think you and uh, Leon, I'm going to call him Leon because I, I don't give a damn. That's his name. I'm not going to call him Leonard yeah. no matter what Cornwood yeah. says. But regardless, okay, I'm not here to schmooze you up. I'm here about business. It's been my dream to be in the BCSO Bones. forever. Bones! Okay, what Sheriff. is it? Damn it. Sheriff! Okay. What? Wait a second. We were in the middle of something. We're cooking. Wait! What? Right. You got to help me. Uh, yeah, I'll wait outside. Don't okay, worry. what is it? Uh, let me know when you're you're good. 
Okay. Okay. Well, it's always been a dream of mine to be in the BCSO. I think my body of work speaks for itself. I feel like I'm a little bit different than a lot of the guys in here. You know, not not that I'm above them or anything like that, but I think that I, I do our job in a way that I think is of the standards that y'all want to uphold as a part of the BCSO, and it would be an honor for me to be able to well, fight out there alongside you and, and under well, you. Currently, the BCSO isn't taking anybody else right now. Okay. Hello? Is there is there anything I can do? Fuck off, Bob! I fell through the roof. I'm locked in here. Okay, well, stop knocking and get somebody, ask somebody else that's right next to you for help. Oh, what the hell? There's a guy right here. <laughs> yeah, I was at the office. Yeah, um, currently we're we're kind of full on our slots right now of, on the people that we can we mm. can take in. We don't want to take away too much from the LSPD. They are also a great department that needs great people. I encourage you to go there and, and build that up. Yeah. Um. Okay. Is, is there is there anything uh is there anything I could do to to prove myself or anything I could do to? It's not even a no forever because I actually really like you. I think you're very good. You just have to think about the entirety of the PD right now and what's best for the entire PD. I mean, sure, but. It, I mean, yes, sir, I understand. I just, uh, I don't want to put myself in a situation where I end up in a dead end and I'm not able to live out my dreams. You know, my my family has been out here and, uh, you know, we've, we've been a big part of Blaine County for years now and my daddy was a deputy as well. And uh, I just hope this ain't a no forever. Do you think there's any sort of like game plan or anything that I could do going forward to make sure that I could live out my dream? I mean, unfortunately, I no. Role playing I remember. That's fucking disgusting. I remember my when my daddy held me in his arms with his dying breaths. He said, "Son, go out there and make me proud. What kind and of backstory is that? Do whatever you need to do to be able to." Was your dad a cop? He was. He was a deputy. Yeah, you got oh, the same God, backstory about fucking eighty story. fucking percent of people. Huh? <laughs> you you got it really original. Been put that in the application. Dad's a cop. What? Your dad gets shot or something? Yeah, he got shot. Yeah. And he, he, I was on a ride. You literally have it, the it same backstory as every single other officer out there, okay? It was bring uh, your son to work day. And oh. he was bleeding all over me. And he said, son, keep your mama safe. Mm. And as he just, he covered me with his body and he took 37, 45 millimeter ammunition shells right to the back by a couple you know of bandits, no Armenians even. Mm -hmm. Isn't it 0.45? Sorry to hear that about your father. <laughs> 35 millimeters are pretty big. <laughs> it's in the wrong ammo. <sighs> yeah. Okay. So there's nothing I can do. Nope. Is there anything I can? I mean, so so where do you see this going for me? Like I said, you need to be as good as you can be in the LSPD. And I just have to wait and see. Just hope for the best. Yeah. <sighs> okay. Bye, little C. Have a good one. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Mm hmm. Is he trying to open the door dramatically? Is he setting up music for the role play right now? Kind of Thank you, sir. Sure. Mm -hmm. Go back in there and say, but one more thing. Is there anything I can do? All right, what do you, what do you think, Big C? <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so so you gotta you gotta you gotta build him up a little bit more. Like like here, okay, now your turn. <laughs> hey, is this gonna take long? Yeah. You know they want me to go through Alice and Sky before I yeah. get mm -hmm. yeah. Can I get some protection for that? If they approve this, I I can join. I just need some protection, some backup. Come on, Bone, throw me a bone here. Come on. No, I I, I can't protect bone. you in a conversation Forward? with no, Alice and Sky. Well, no, you don't you don't gotta protect him. Just be there. Just be there as like a okay level one force. It's just a have transfer request. I know, I'm not but it's sitting there. I'm it's please. level one it's, force. It's, it's, it's presence. literally the, you, you never paid attention to the use of force continuum, man. Come on, come it's on. Not, it's not. It ain't about Alice protection. It's about support. Right? It ain't support. <laughs> it's motherfucking protection. Cornwood, no. you're lying out your ass if you think I fucking need support. I could cook those motherfuckers. Now, will I end up like Slacks did that one day? Probably. So Cornwood, I need are someone you to watch fucking, my back. Are you, have you lost your mind? <laughs> have you lost your fucking mind? We're not going there to be a, the just higher I, rank I, I just, on I just Alice and guys Sky there. so he can I, transfer to I, our I apartment. Just, I just need some protection. I need some people with guns out. That's all I need. No. I just need someone to sit there. I'm taking your damn gun out. for the talk. It's fine. You just you show up, okay? It's just a, you know, just a little bit of support, okay? Fuck and no, get, I okay. no. We are not I, going to anybody. Just a little bit of the LSPD. Listen to your captain. Come on, come, or listen to the captain, bro. No, just get, just get a Colt 1911. No, come Slams on. Slams door really loud. Hey, no, hey. You coward. Hey. 
You haven't really. Bones, you locked it. <laughs> Here, okay. Now, we, now, now we swap seats. Okay. How to bones? How's it going? It's me, One Tree Tree, <laughs> Kim McNulty. Oh, sorry. Uh, I, I was looking at my my computer here. I was trying to read the damn shit. I, I thought you were bones. Adam McNulty, how you doing? Why, why is it that you want to join the the BZSL? I love y'all, man. Y'all are good people. Yeah, I mean, hell, you know, and, and the same goes here. But why is that going to change whether or not you're in the BCSL? I want to build something with y'all. You're one of the first names that came up whenever we were talking about people that, you know, on the short list. Who are the best damn officers that I want to be out there and I want to build this office with? And who are the best damn officers that we have in this PD? It, it, it's inarguable that you're one of them. With all that being said, if you want to build this thing up as best as you can, I don't want to take you away from the LSPD. Is that like a forever thing or? No, no, it, it ain't a forever thing. Like why? Know, but... Why can't I be like with you guys? Can you do the accent better? Cause it's like, it's- I can't, I, I have just, can you at least track? Well, can you give me an Irish accent so I can try and mock uh, it? Well, hey, one tray tray. Uh, what does he say? Uh, porpoise. Gotta find Por your porpoise. One tray tray. Porpoise. Por I can't do it. Regardless of whether or not you're in the LSPD or whether you're in the BCSO, you're still a part of the same PD. Yes, we are gonna do some things different. Yes, you can make a major impact. No, McNulty, come here, okay? How long, brother? I don't know yet, but the best thing that you what can you do for you me- don't know? McNulty, do you believe in me? Do you trust me? I need you. There is a limited number of people who can make the impact that you can make in this police department, regardless of what the hell the color your shirt is. Okay. Brother, the me. LSPD is not for me, man. But the BCSO is, right? Yes. So I need you to do right by the BCSO and I need you to stay in the LSPD for now, okay? I'm gonna do it for you. No, 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 no. I'm gonna, I'm, let go of me, okay? I'm okay. gonna do that for you, Cletus. Okay, I, I need Goodbye, you to Goodbye, brother. Do okay. <laughs> You'll be good, McNulty. You're a fucking glazer.